So, uh, so the U.S. envoy is paying Taiwan a visit, and next thing you know, you look up above, and all of a sudden, there's these 18 warplanes from China closing in. <laughs> Eighteen warplanes. Well, I use the term warplane loosely when I talk about Chinese planes, but you know, they're kind of like facsimile of facsimile of facsimile of warplanes. On the surface, they look like warplanes. Although, for the record, if Chinese warplanes were facing El Frico, then they would be warplanes. Okay, I'm just talking about when they face other actual warplanes, then then the war part of the plane is a bit mm, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying I'm just saying they don't have a super duper reputation they're uh, they're an untried force but at any rate they have uh, they've ventured into to, to the territory of uh, Taiwan here and there you can see Taiwan behind me Taiwan just off the coast of China there that's uh, that's 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 less than a hundred miles. That is less than a hundred miles. That means if you're gonna go from New York to Philadelphia, that you will travel. Uh, I believe. I believe it's uh, it's it's a little bit more than that. So this is this is not a lot of uh, not a lot of space between these two. <clears throat> and there is this uh, the Straits of Taiwan. Now, when they say that they went into their airspace, what they really mean is that the Chinese planes went. Now, I don't know. This this is just a... Uh, okay, now this is like... This isn't as good as the Microsoft Flight Simulator version that you would see, but it's close. Here we go. Ready? Just imagine. I don't even know where they take off. Just imagine for, for, for visuals. Let's have them take off here in, uh, let's say, Chenzu. This is a long-range... Uh, uh, long range, long range warplanes. Stroll, <laughs> psych your mind. See, that's what it was. That's what it was. Psych your mind. That's all it was. That's that's what. I, to give you the visualization for it, because I want to be accurate in my reporting, because I am dedicated. To nothing but accurate reporting. So this is from the Daily Caller. China flies jets over Taiwan during U.S. envoy's visit. By the way, I can never say China. Well, I can. I cannot often say China. China, like China. I, it's uh, it's a Trump thing. It's in my head. I can't. I can't. I can't untrump the word China. Well, I can often, but <clears throat> but not consistently. I'll say sometimes it slips out. China sent 18 warplanes and fighter jets to fly over Taiwan Friday while the U.S. met with Taiwanese officials, the Associated Press reported. Taiwan's defense ministry said two bombers and 16 fighter jets flew into their air defense identification zone, according to the AP. Under Secretary of State Keith Cratch was meeting with the Minister of Economic Affairs and the Vice Premier of Taiwan, the AP reported. Under Secretary of State Keith Crack. Under Secretary of State Keith Crack. Let's just get a little bit of a. Hey, you're not in this meme. You're not in this. There we go. Let's enter into this affair. And there we have uh, Keith Crack. Uh, he was assumed office in June 21st, uh, 2019. Let's see what this dude looks like. Yo, Keith. I don't know. Keith. Keith, listen, buddy. It is... Oh, my. Uh, my friend, listen. No, I'm not doing it. I am not doing... <clears throat> there are so many, like, Leatherface jokes. All kinds of... I would never do these kinds of things, like... Burn victim. No! Stop it! What, what if he was? Man. And there he is, Under Secretary Keith. He's the guy that was in Taiwan when. Hold on, let's get back to the visualizations here. Hold on. Ready, ready, ready. Hold on. Whoa, whoa. I want to. Where, 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 where did I go from last time? I missed it. Where is? Oh, there we go. There we go. Ready. Just like your mind. There you go. 
All right, now we've got some bellicosity coming out here. Ready? <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna get to this right here. And this is somewhat important. All joking aside, recently the U.S. and Taiwan's ruling Democratic Progressive Party authorities have stepped up their collusion and frequently stir up troubles. Chinese Defense Ministry spokesperson Ren Guqiang say to reporters, according to the AP. Whether it is using Taiwan to contain China or relying on foreign powers to threaten others, it is wishful thinking and it is destined to be a dead end. <laughs> Ren said the exercises were a legitimate and necessary action taken in response to current situations across the Taiwanese Strait to safeguard national sovereignty and territorial integrity. <sighs> Something like that. So there you go. So uh, we got a little bellicosities, a little bit of a swing and winging, and a little bit of a stick your mind going on, and uh, that's about all. It's, uh, I think this is a story. Of, I'm treating this a little lightly because I think this is much ado about nothing, but I think it's quite a dramatic affair that uh, that, that, that this uh, gentle, that this uh, individual, you know, I don't, it said spoke first. So let's see. I'm sorry, sir. Listen, Keith. Listen, dude. Listen, I'm not one to talk. I'm, I'm, you know, most people probably consider me uglier than you, Keith. I'm just like, I'm trying, I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to. I'm trying to be a good human being, Keith, but it's hard. And you're just floating there. You're just floating there. And it bothers me. And I don't want you floating there. I want to see Ren. Ren. Oh, my. Ren. Holy moly. He looks like. Oh my gosh, he looks he looks like he should be in a monster movie. He looks like he should be behind a cheap tank. And he's given the order to and he's and he's and he's so we're going, we're going, we're gonna defeat you, Godzilla And he gets squashed. And then you're like looking at the whole setup and you're like, dude, this is so cheap looking, but Godzilla's cool looking. So and then you this, oh my gosh this is this is beautiful thank you thank you for being this for me i love this this is just to pay a, a betting a very very lovely to pay i really appreciate the to pay ren i want to get a little close-up of your to pay there buddy come on buddy let's get in here please la blast us over hype of chinese threat dun 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 there he is there he is what playa play 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 playa I don't know, playa. Ren, I'm I'm just gonna say it. Listen. I don't know. I don't buy it. I just don't see it. I see softness in that face. I see mommy issues. I definitely see some mommy issues in those eyes. I'm not gonna lie, Ren. Oh boy. He's so he's the face that I want you to hear when you go back and you hear. Recently, the U.S. and Taiwan's ruling Democratic Progressive Party authorities have stepped up their collusion and frequently stir up troubles, dude. Dude, dude, come on. Mom, mom, tell I'm right. I'm right, aren't I? All right, thank you, Ren. I don't know, but I got to say, at least one thing, you're definitely better looking than the U.S. counterpart person thingy, so, you know. You're not a bad looking man. All things being equal, he's not a bad looking man. That toupee works. And it's a, it's a little microphone helmet kind of ish, but uh, it works. It works with this guy. It, he, he pulls off the bulbosity. There is a bulbosity up and up, 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 right, right here. The bulbosity. But it works for him. It, he carries it off. It, 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 it's kind of, uh, you know, pinisculi, you know, and kind of, you know, the whole. But yet the guy, the guy pulls it off. He has no gravitas, none. He has no gravitas. He is a beaten, uh, definitely a beaten man. That's for sure. I'm, I'm uh, conjecturing all this from one frozen moment in a camera, which uh, really doesn't tell you crap. <laughs> but you know, just play along with me, kids. And uh, at any rate, <clears throat> there's something to be said about this. Let, let's see if we can find some other pictures of him. How about that? Well, how about that? Let's see if this picture kind of makes me think of the same kind of thing. Okay, okay, yep, yep, same kind of vibe, same kind of vibe, same kind of uh, movie vibe, you know. The uh, the faux courageous uh, 
general behind the cheap tank about ready to be crushed by the monster. That pretty much is this guy. So that's good. I like seeing that face when I see that. Although, you know, the uh, I say one thing about the American guy. Okay, okay, okay. Listen. One thing about the American guy. Okay, okay. How about we do this? This guy comes up to you and says, hold on. We're almost done here, folks. We're going to wrap this up. This one's going a little long. But this is... <laughs> now, he's saying this. Wait, hold on. Undersecretary Keith is saying, Recently, the U.S. and Taiwan's ruling Democratic Progressive Party authorities have stepped up their collusion and frequently, frequently, where is he? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, frequently frequently stir up trouble see that face when he says it i'm 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 doing one of two things i'm either grabbing my gun because some serious cop is about ready to come down or two i'm just fleeing fleeing or grabbing gun and grabbing gun is only if i can't flee if i can flee i don't grab gun i just flee i don't even grab the if i have the gun not with me i don't even take the time i just flee his face so say so say what you want this dude this dude makes me want to pee when he says boy what did i tell you and I'm, Whoa. okay dad i'm sorry dad i didn't mean it you're not my dad are you i'm probably even older than him but uh let's see i don't even know i don't even know anyway <laughs> that's how i'm gonna end this so there's the bellicosity all around and we got to make fun of some people and that was good